What's going on guys? Just doing a quick market review on ENPH. This was the top mover, top pick on my list that I put out today in both chat and the J. Lewis Trading broadcast. And uh, ENPH reported yesterday and uh, the report was okay, but for some reason the market just did it. didn't want to have anything to do with this and out of the gate got very, very heavy and just decided to sell off. Now it was a very, very simple uh, structured play in the sense that the news was the news, but the market reacted to this stock the way that the market was going to react. And it looked, I was looking for this sell off right out of the gate. And I was holding its KMAs on this two minute chart, took out the VWAP, and on this first little rally right through here, you can see the price action drops, comes back, kicks right up into this 50 day simple moving average on this two minute chart, and then pulls back and takes out that level. This is where I started to get short and I was buying puts. And so I started to pile into a short play using puts on this optionable stock, EMPH, and it just started to rip lower. Now, the nice move was from 21.37 all the way down to 19.54. Now, that's not where I got out. You can see that we have this wick. There was a bit of a supply push to the upside and price action rally. And we got a little bit of VWAP resistance right through here. And I knew that once this turned around right through here, and again, I was already in at this point, but as soon as we got that reversal candlestick pattern off of that VWAP, I knew that this thing was going to push lower. And as soon as it stepped down, it started to sell off and we based right through here and it was in this general area right through here that when price action uh, fell down to this level and based and broke above, I covered my position. Um, now what I did do is I sold the vast majority of my position and I kept a couple on, a couple contracts short uh, and on into the back end of the day looking for another big move. Um, my assumption was right through here that we were going to get that second leg down, but it didn't come. We just kind of broke down and we saw the uh, low of day right through here that was challenged. And as soon as we hit this level and it stuck and it rallied again, cleared the balance of my, uh, my position on. So that was EMPH. Now, if you are in chat or if you're in the broadcast room, you'll see that I actually put this out early, early, early in the morning, uh, hours before the market opened, and I was covering this along with a whole host of other stocks. Now, I generally follow the tech stocks, but there were a lot of other stocks that were in play today, and EMPH was my top pick for the day. Based on the prop scan that I'm using and looking at the uh, very, specific technical setups that I'm looking in concert with the news, this was the best opportunity uh, for us to trade. So we traded EMPH, a number of people in our chat room also traded EMPH, did exceptionally well. There, have not, there were a number of other stocks uh, that we were looking at, that the team was looking at, and uh, there was a lot of news about some stocks that we're putting in the chat room, uh, but this seems to be the stock that we gravitated to on the option side. CUR was the low float stock that I also put out uh, and that bumped and that stock also did well. I can look at this uh, CUR right through here. I actually called it pre-market and what I was looking at was this real body level right through here and I was talking about a 188, 189 level. Now that was, I was not taking into consideration these wicks and uh, what I was saying is, you know, when the market opens, that's gonna be your level uh, to get long. So there was a breakout right through here at 188, it did move up to this high up through here at about 212 and it got very heavy very, very quickly. And then the secondary move was even better. So it came back down, kind of <coughs> held that resistance level, found a little bit of 50 day support, <coughs> part of me, and it also found some VWAP support. And then from there we had a nice ascending triangle. And uh, after this short term bull trap, price actually came back into the range squeeze properly and move from that 188 level all the way up to 227 so that in itself was also a pretty decent trade a lot of news on the back end of this posted that all up in chat about an hour and a half before the market opened got the team ready and those were the two big trades of the day so i just wanted to review that and send that out to you if you have any questions i'm at info at jlewistrading.com don't forget to like and subscribe and also don't forget to follow us on twitter uh, the handle is at J. Lewis Trading. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.